Hey everybody, this is Dr. Greg Rose with Functional Movement Systems. I want to give you a little insight onto the SFMA, the Selective Functional Movement Assessment. That's our medical evaluation. It's a diagnostic movement assessment to try and identify the root cause of pain and problems with your patients or your players, or your athletes. Now, the SFMA is based on seven primary movements. We call them the top tier. We actually watch our clients go through these seven movements and it helps us understand where maybe the dysfunction is, is originating. Now, I wanna talk about one of those movements today called the single leg stance, or your ability to stand on one leg. You know, single leg stance seems like a basic movement, but it's amazing on how many people have lost this ability. And it can be the root cause of so many dysfunctions in the body and so many causes of pain that you definitely wanna be able to look at single leg stance. Now, what do I wanna talk about? I think everybody knows that balance can be a problem. But if you're like me, when, you, when I went and got trained and went through chiropractic school, or if you go to physical therapy school, you go to any type of medical school, if someone said your balance is off, usually the word proprioception comes up. They say, well, if your balance is off, you've lost proprioception. In the SFMA, we've actually flipped this paradigm upside down. And I wanna talk about that specifically. So let's first talk about what is proprioception. What is this thing that everybody says is the problem with your balance? Well, proprioception comes from these sensors that are built throughout your entire body. They're in your muscles, they're in your tendons, throughout your entire body, and they give a feedback loop to your brain based on positional sense. In other words, I know my right hand's behind my back right now, I don't have to look, but a proprioceptor is telling me where my body parts are in space, and with that information, my brain knows where my parts are in space. Now, how does that work? If I look at a muscle, and this kind of demonstrates a muscle right here, in your muscle, you have sensors in the belly of the muscle called muscle spindles, and you have sensors in the tendons called Golgi tendon organs. Now, these, these sensors, give feedback to the brain based on the movement of the muscle. So in other words, if the muscle stretches or if the muscle is contracting, it tells the brain what's happening. And it can also alarm the brain if something's happening that shouldn't be happening. Like if you're starting to lose balance, it will actually try and rewrite you and get you back with the proper muscle tone. So these are things that you don't have to do, autom you don't have to do consciously. They happen automatically based on this feedback system. And this is why when you lose balance, Everybody goes, oh, there must be something wrong with these sensors, like you sprained your ankle and you must have damaged your proprioceptors. Well, at SFMA, we actually, like I said, started thinking about this a little differently. And what we discovered is this. Okay, so if you fail single leg stance, we're gonna take you to what we call a breakout. The breakout is to try and figure out what's the cause. The first thing we do is we check the vestibular system. Now, we all know that there's another system that helps maintain your balance, and it's your inner ear. There's fluid in your inner ear that acts like a level that helps maintain upright balance. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna clear the vestibular system, just to make sure that's not a problem. Then, like I said, most places would say, well, if your balance is off and it's not vestibular, you have a proprioception problem. But what we do is we check movement next. Now, what does that mean? We're actually gonna check to see, can your ankle move? Can your hip move? Can your knee, can do your joints move? Now, why are we gonna check movement first? Well, if you think this through logically, if you're not getting proprioception, it could be because the sensors are damaged or maybe probably more likely is if the joint stops moving, the muscles stop elongating, they stop getting stimulated because that stimulation comes from movement or pressure. If you're not getting normal movement, you're probably not getting normal proprioception stimulus. And that's why it seems like the proprioceptors aren't working, but it's not because there's something wrong with the sensors. It's they're just not getting stimulated anymore. So what we do is we go check movement. If movement's dysfunctional, it's not moving, we reestablish movement and then we retest. If their balance is now good, Congratulations, there wasn't a proprioception problem. They just weren't using the joint. They weren't stimulating the muscle. And we see this the majority of the time. Now, the cool thing about the SFMA single leg stance breakout is if we check vestibular and your vestibular is good, then we go check movement. If movement's clear, well, you just rolled out vestibular. You just rolled out that the proprioceptors aren't getting stimulated. They are, the, the joints are moving. So really you've rolled everything out except proprioception. So our final diagnosis would be proprioception if we ruled everything else out. And really, if you look at the volume of data that we're taking with players, this is like under 10% of the population. I know if you go to normal medical textbooks and you say your balance is off, they're gonna say, oh, 90% of the people have proprioception problems. That might be true, but there's nothing wrong with the proprioceptor on the majority of them. It's just probably not getting stimulated because of movement. And to me, that, that was a big bright light bulb in the SFMA, a entire game changer, a total flip in the paradigm. And when you start looking at this, it's amazing on how fast you can get players better. You can get your injured players back to single leg balance. And believe it or not, when you have that single leg stance, it affects everything from just standing posture to gait. This is Dr. Greg Rose with Functional Movement Systems. Hopefully we'll see you at an SFMA seminar here in the future. Hey guys, if you like the video, definitely hit the thumbs up. 
And if you want to stay informed, hit the bell so we can notify you anytime we put up new videos. And of course, any questions or comments, put those at the end. We'll certainly be checking them out and trying to respond. Thanks so much. And remember, always move well and then move often.